Hi friends, I hope you're having an inspiring day. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are switching gears a bit from fashion and we are venturing into the beauty world. So if you guys don't know, there's a spring sale going on at Sephora right now. Sephora basically never puts things on sale. So I figured I would walk you guys through some of my beauty go-tos, what I picked up from the Sephora sale. And obviously I am not a makeup or beauty guru. I am just your everyday girl. I do everyday makeup, everyday skincare. I mean, I will say that something specific that I shop for is my skin just because I have cystic acne and have been dealing with cystic acne for a good majority of my 20s but other than that all the products that I buy and or use are stuff for the everyday girl nothing crazy no crazy makeup looks so I hope you guys like hanging out with me and seeing some of my Sephora must-haves I am just realizing how much I got and I am so excited Let's start with skincare. So one of my favorite brands for my skin right now is Dermalogica. So I picked up two of uh, my favorites that I've been using recently. And the first one is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. So this product here is one that takes off makeup. It's a really deep cleansing oil, which is amazing. I find that it really cleanses my pores really well without leaving it super dry. And I'll use this before I go in with a regular cleanser and it's kind of like my first step that I go in with on my skin. Here's what the product looks like out of the box. It's a pump, which I really like because it allows me to control how much product I'm really using. And this pre-cleanse is really great for people who struggle with clogged pores or acne, oily or normal combination type skin. And I'd say that this bottle lasts me about two months. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but it's worth every penny. And this one is $63. All right, so normally after I pre-cleanse with an oil cleanser, I'll go in with a regular cleanser, whether foaming or gel, and then I'll go in and exfoliate. Daily exfoliation is really important for people with acneic concerns like myself, just because what happens is we end up having a buildup of dead skin cells, which then clogs in more bacteria. So I find that exfoliating with a gentle exfoliator daily is really important for maintaining my skin's clarity. And the one that I fell in love with and have yet to find a better match is the Dermalogica Microfoliant. You can either get this one or the Superfoliant, which is for super acneic skin, but my skin's having like a good month right now, so I figured that I would restock and just do the daily Microfoliant, which is great for all skin types. So this is what it looks like out of the box. Now, it was confusing when I first tried this product because it's completely powdered form. So what you do is put a little bit of powder on your hand and then you put a little bit of water and you gently exfoliate with it. And this product is $82, but I swear it lasts me like four to five months. I think that the last one I was using lasted me about four to five months and I used it every single day. It is the best exfoliator on the market. Like I said, completely in powder forms. So you can really control how much of that exfoliation you really want that day which I think is amazing and so much better than the ones that are pre-mixed in a formula. Last up in skincare is my go-to serum. I have been using this serum for like four to five years. It is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum and don't let the name fool you. I actually use this morning and night and especially in the morning when I wake up after using it at night I realize there is such a big difference in my skin. The serum is a great sort of all-around serum, so it kind of gives you hydration, it helps to really calm and balance and tone your skin. There are so many benefits of the serum, and it's actually rated Canada's number one best-selling serum, and I think there's a big reason for that. It is most definitely a cult favorite. This is what it looks like outside of the box. It's actually quite a large bottle. I chose the larger size here just because I use it all the time. And this is kind of the formula. It's nice and liquidy, absorbs really, really quick. I like that it's got this dropper because you can kind of control how much you want to use. And like most serums, they are a bit of a splurge. This bottle here, the large size is $125, but it is honestly such a great serum. I find that it helps and is great for all types of skin. And I swear by it, it's probably one of the serums that I will consistently buy for the rest of my life. Okay, moving on to makeup. So I am not a crazy makeup girl. I use pretty much the same foundations, the same highlighters, same blushes. And for me, I'm really looking for products that are easy to use, not very fussy, lightweight, comfortable, and 
work well at a good price. So I didn't need any new foundation right now, but I use two types. One is the Charlotte Tilbury one, and then the other one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and those are for my full coverage foundations. But for days that I don't wanna wear full coverage foundation, but just want some coverage, I love this IT Cosmetics CC Cream. So it's a color correcting full coverage cream. I've been using this one here for so many years, I think two to three years, and I love that it's got SPF built into it just in case I forget or don't put on SPF that day. So I wear the shade medium, but because it is a CC cream, it blends really easily. You don't need to have like an exact match, but I love the CC cream so much. It lasts so long. All you need is one pump and you're good to go for your entire face. And what I like about the CC cream is that it is still a coverage, a full coverage CC cream. So if you've got a lot of acne scars or a lot of things to cover, but you don't want to wear a heavy foundation, this CC cream will change your life. Here's what the packaging looks like. I like that it's got a pump to it so I can control the amount that I want to use. That's probably my favorite delivery of formula across all products. Just to show you guys how the formula looks like and how it comes out. It's a really nice, really blendable formula. My hands are obviously darker than my face is, but as you can see, still pretty full coverage and just such a beautiful moisturizing texture. And I also find that this doesn't clog my pores either, which some CC creams do. Just such a nice flawless finish. While we're on the topic of skin, I also exclusively use a beauty blender to apply my foundations, even my CC creams often. I don't know, something about a beauty blender just seems easier for me than a brush. I'm not gonna lie, the last time I bought a beauty blender, which TBH was like a year ago, I don't feel like it was this small. I don't remember it being this small, but I guess it was. So obviously you can pick up beauty blenders that aren't quite as pricey as the beauty blender, but I find that this one lasts me the longest, doesn't break down that easy, is super easy to clean. And I just feel like because I don't use a lot of tools and I don't splurge a lot on my makeup often, that splurging every once in a while on something that I use every single day is totally worth it. And the Beauty Blender is $26. All right, moving right along through makeup is primers. So I find that for my skin, just because I do, like I said, deal with a lot of acne, a lot of cystic acne, I find that primers are really important for me because it kind of preps my skin before I put on my foundation. And I find that it makes such a big difference with regards to how my foundation ends up looking. So one of my go-to primers of all time is this Stila One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and brightening primer. So it's got those swirly color correcting colors in it. If you're like me, you don't know the first thing about color correcting. But what I like is that this one combines all of them all into one and that you kind of just apply it all over your face and it brightens and kind of tones all of your skin. So if you've got dark circles, you've got a lot of pigmentation, a lot of redness, this primer is really going to even it all out. So it's going to be easier to use your foundation and you're going to use a lot less foundation to cover those areas that you want to. And I also find that it's really hydrating primer, so it feels good on my skin, doesn't feel super cakey. And again, my biggest thing is it lets me use less foundation to get a full coverage look. And this One Step Correct Stila Primer is $47, and it'll last me probably another six to seven months, to be honest. All right, next up is lips. And like I said, I don't do anything crazy on my lips. Every once in a while, I'll bust out something that's not a nude lippy, but most of the times I'm wearing a nude lippy and particularly I love balm-like textures. Anything that has like a balmy or lip glossy feel that doesn't dry on my lips is just my preferred lip style. I don't like things that make my lips feel uncomfortable, even if they're gonna give me a Kylie Jenner pout. Like I just don't have time for that sort of lip product. And one of my go-to lip products is the Kiehl's Butter Sticks. Now you can get them in different tints and shades, but I like to use the one that's untinted. This one I'll use and then sometimes I'll just put like a little bit of lip color over top and then blend it in. I find that it kind of makes everything a balmy like texture and it really primes my lips for what I'm putting on top of it so that they look really plump, really juicy, and most importantly, really moisturized. And it's really like every other lip balm. You scroll it out like this but this will last me probably like a good year and I use it every day all the time. I also like that this lip balm is an SPF 25 just cause 
can never use enough SPF. And Kiehl's Butter Sticks, no matter what uh, tint you're looking for, is $26. Your girl's thirsty, give me a second. All right, next up is highlighters and face palettes. And like I said, if you haven't figured it out by now, your girl is a simpleton. She is a simple gal. And I don't use a ton on my face. Highlighters, contours, things like that. I try to find products that will kind of do it all. And one of the products that I find really does that is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palettes. Here is what it looks like outside of the packaging. So like I said, this product does it all. But here are the shades that you're gonna get here. So you're gonna get something that's a little bit darker, which I like to use as my contour. It's actually called the shade Bronze. And then I'll typically use this sort of peachier color. The other palette has a pinkier color, uh, but peach or the pink I normally use for my blush. And then the top two here I use as my highlighters as well as my eyeshadows sometimes. And I find that this palette actually works really nicely, not only as a sort of face palette, but also as an eyeshadow. So it kind of does all things. As a designer product, I actually expected it to be a lot more expensive, but these face palettes here are only $59. And like I said, I use it and I'm currently using it as contour, highlight, eyeshadow, all in one. So I normally use that Dior face palette for my entire face, but every once in a while I do like to also bust out a highlighter for the same reasons. So I'll use it kind of as like a little bit of a shimmer on my lip. I'll use it as regular highlight for my brow bone here, my cheekbones, and my nose. And this is one of my favorite highlighters if I'm just going for highlight. And I'm a big fan of the no makeup makeup look and I find that highlighters are really important to kind of add that luminescent glow to your skin. This is one of my favorite ones. This is the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter. Stila does highlighters and just makeup products that are for the everyday girl so, so well. The cost of the product doesn't break the bank. It's really easy to use. I find that it doesn't irritate my skin. And like I said, really neutral colors that kind of go with every day. So this highlighter is in the shade Kitten. It's this beautiful kind of rosy looking highlight with that goldish tone, so like a rose gold highlighter. Here's what the highlight looks like up close. And then the formula of this one is probably one of the reasons why I love it the most. It's like a creamy highlighter. And as you can see on my finger here, it is super pigmented. Like I said, I will use this as like eyeshadow, I'll use this as like a lip shimmer, I'll use this as a face highlight, obviously. It kind of just does it all. Just to swatch it a little bit for you guys, check out that one swipe pigment. All right, and the next product are eyeliners. I feel like I know my eyeliners really, really well. They're probably the product that I first used ever. I was born in that era where like everybody just always had to wear eyeliner and I just feel like for my eye shape and my face shape eyeliner is just really important and I use it pretty much every day and this is the best eyeliner. I have tried a ton of different eyeliners and Stila's Stay All Day Liquid Waterproof Eyeliner is the best one hands down. Trust me, your girl feels like she really knows her jazz when it comes to eyeliners. And the thing that I love about these are that they're waterproof, they never smudge, they never come off until you obviously take them off with makeup remover. They actually come in two different types, the regular one, which is the one I normally wear and use, as well as the micro tip. So if you're looking for those really fine lines, trying to draw those like really thin cat eyes, this one in the micro tip is the one for you. I kind of interchange between the two of them depending on how thick I want my eyeliner to be that day. I get both of them in intense black, but obviously you can choose the other shades that they have as well. All right, here's what it looks like outside of its packaging. I really like the fact that it's like a pen, makes it really easy to apply. This is the regular one, not the fine micro tip. So just to show you guys how easy it is to use, it is just so, great it's like a pen just like the best eyeliner you could possibly find and the stila eyeliners are 29 dollars but i literally used one of these for a full year without it drawing out so highly highly recommend it's a product that lasts even if you use it every day 
And very last but not least, I treated myself to a little something something uh, as well as my mom because Mother's Day is coming up. But I had no idea that Ciela sold home goods, but I guess because it falls under the brand's umbrella, I picked up two Joe Malone candles. Like I said, one for me and one for my mom for Mother's Day. Hope you're not watching, mom. And I just feel like these make for the most beautiful gifts. The scents by Joe Malone are just the absolute best and their candles are also so so aesthetic and the scent you honestly don't even need to open the candle i'll be honest i hardly ever burn my luxury candles i just kind of keep them on the counter and even if you open up the cap you can smell the overwhelming beautiful scent so there are two scents that i really really like from jo Malone. one is the wood sage and sea salt Mm, this is just like a really warm scent. It really warms the room with a nice earthy uh, warm scent that has a bit of like spice to it. That's kind of where it gets that warmth, but it's just such a beautiful complex scent that's both warm and refreshing at the same time. And I've never found a scent that smells like it. And the second one that I got is the Lime, Basil and Mandarin. Mm, this is my most refreshing scent. I find that this one just lifts my spirits a lot. It's really fresh, really invigorating. It's just, it's one of the best scents. Uh, if there's one scent I would go for, it is the Lime, Basil, and Mandarin. Oh, it just smells so luxurious, but refreshing. And I feel like we all kind of need something at home to lift our spirits these days. And the Jo Malone candles are $90, so obviously more of a splurge, but girl, you are worth it. And that is it for my Sephora spring haul. I hope you guys liked it. I know it's a little bit different than my fashion hauls, but these are kind of those go-to items, like our go-to investment closet pieces that I feel like last me a really long time, are worth the money, and are really easy to wear kind of like my wardrobe style, I suppose. Anyhow, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a big inspired thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what your go-to Sephora picks are. I would love to discover new items, especially if they are ones that fall into this category of everyday long use wear. And if you're new to the Inspired family, thank you so much for giving this video a watch. We hope you'll join us for a bit longer and subscribe. We normally do style Sundays and wildcard Wednesdays like this one where we throw in a wildcard so we hope you'll join us for a few more videos and subscribe with that I hope you all have an inspiring rest of your day remember that kindness doesn't cost a thing I hope you guys are staying home and staying safe and staying warm and positive and I will talk to you guys next time bye